Hello, my name is Heather, and this is New Release Tuesday. The first book this week is The Unbound by Victoria Schwab. This is the second book in the Archive series. Mac works at a library and is a keeper. She often has to stop violent histories from waking up and getting out. All these histories are kept in what is known as the Archive, and she's constantly have to lie to all the people that she loves. Someone is deliberately altering histories, erasing essential chapters, and Mac has to figure it out and stop it before things get a little bit too crazy. This series is wildly loved, so definitely check it out. The next book is Divided We Fall by Trent Reedy. This is the first book in a brand new series. That set in a frighteningly plausible near future, near future about what happens when states are no longer united. Conflicts are erased and slowly escalates towards the unthinkable, a second American Civil War. Manner of Secrets by Katherine Longshore. This is a historical fiction about two girls that are looking for a change. Charlotte wants out of the upper crust society and longs for adventure. Fanny is more than just the kitchen maid, but she isn't sure she possesses the courage to break free and follow her passions. This book is all about following those passions and breaking free of the norm. The next book is And We Stay by Jenny Hubbard. Paul walks into his high school library with a stolen gun. He threatens his girlfriend Emily and then takes his own life. Emily is shipped off to boarding school where she encounters a ghostly presence that shares her name. The spirit of Emily Dickinson and two quirky girls offer her helping hands but it's up to Emily to heal her own damaged self. This book is told in verse and prose. Time Cross by Julie Cross. This is the third and final book in the Tempest series. This series is all about time travel. Jackson can travel in time without altering the past or really affecting his presence. But when his girlfriend gets caught up in the crosshairs, he jumps into time. Only this time, he's stuck in time. So, lots of time. <laughs> Definitely check this one out. No Place by Todd Strasser. Dan and his family go from middle class to homeless. Family moves to Tent City and Dan struggles to adjust to his new life. Dan gets involved with people who are fighting for better conditions and services for the residents of Tent City. But someone wants Tent City gone and will stop at nothing until it's destroyed. Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi. This is the third and final book in the Under the Never Sky series. This series is all about Arya, who lives in a protected life in a dome called Reverie. So I said that right. But when her mother goes missing, she knows she must venture out of Reverie, and she meets a boy, and things get crazy, and I've heard very good things about this series, so definitely check it out. Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. This is a spin on the classic Beauty and the Beast. So if you're into fairy tale retellings, definitely check this one out. I'm not going to give you too much because it's a retelling. You can give it this. Her Dark Curiosity by Megan Shepard. This is the sequel to The Madman's Daughter. This series is inspired by H.G. Wells' classic, The Island of Dr. Moreau. Madman's Daughter is a dark and breathless gothic thriller about the secrets we'll do anything to know and the truths we'll go to any lengths to protect. Infinite by Jody Meadows. This is the third book in the New Soul series. Anna is a new soul. For thousands of years, for thousands of years of range, million souls have been reincarnated over and over, keeping their memories and experiences from their previous lifetimes. Anna was born, another soul vanished, and no one knows why. Uninvited by Sophie Jordan. Davy's test comes back positive for homicidal tendency syndrome, aka the kill gene. She loses everything and everyone in her life. Davy doesn't feel any different, but the genes don't lie. One day, she will kill someone. This one sounds amazing and is definitely on my TBR. The Queen's Joyce by Kayla Clover. 16-year-old Anya learns that her aunt, Queen of Fairy Kingdom of Cryer, will soon die. Her grief, is, her grief is equaled by her despair of her future of her kingdom. Her younger cousin, Illum oh, oh good. Illuminia. Illuminia. Is unfair to rule, and Anya's determined not to take up the queen's mantle herself. Our last book this week is Minders by Michelle Jaff. Sadie is accepted into the Marine Corps Fellowship Program, where she will spend six weeks as an observer inside the head of Ford, a troubled boy with a passion for crumbling, for the crumbling architecture of this inner city. There's just one problem: Sadie falls in love with him. You know that thing called love. Can't get rid of it. That is all the books for this week. As always, please leave us a comment down below. Tell me the release why book you are looking most forward to getting your hands on. I know there's a lot of really good ones this week. And as always, I will see you next week.